Ah, oh, these little extra things probably messed with it. I don't know, we'll see. We'll clean up these outside edges. That was a pretty steep learning curve. <laughs> Is it like a like a learning curve of like action? Like doing the right combos and stuff? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Barely eleven. There's only this one guy sticking out here. I'm gonna take him out. So we have ten. Nice even number. Ten is interesting. They'll probably combine together pretty well. Let's go ahead and bring them together. That's gonna come from right here. Probably not, because the letter P requires your lips to touch. Also, that's pretty lewd. I have to say, I feel like if I tried to stream back when I was in college, which it wasn't a thing when I was in college. Um, I would probably have like unending issues with patience. <laughs> but since then, I've had two kids and they are going to be 13 and 17 this year. And I learned a lot about patience from them. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so if we get 10, we could do a couple five to twos. See what that looks like. Hmm, okay, let's move one over. Put them right next to each other. And upgrade them out the trees because I thought I already told you to take out some trees I guess I took out this whole path here but not those okay so I'm gonna move these actually so that they just come straight down into it two three four Five, and then this will come straight down. Yeah, we'll just have to re-angle them once we get delivered some some belts. <laughs> Can't really explain because it's a top-down view like this game. Yeah, I kind of I kind of saw that, but it has like 3D characters, right? And did it have some simulation like factors to it, like uh, having to eat and that kind of stuff? One, two, three, four, five. There we go.
So what we'll do here is we'll take four and we'll kind of see how that goes because I I'm pretty sure that it won't saturate four. Could be wrong. I don't have to do the landfill, but I want to. these four into this honestly probably just up here because if there's feedback into the splitters then they'll feedback appropriately for a good chunk of them at least Dude, little odd, you gotta cut it out, man. Like, I know you, you you stick around a lot, but like, a lot of it's really nonsensical and not really keeping up with the conversation. Right? Like, you're making other people uncomfortable in the chat and stuff. Like, the last warning on that, man. I don't want to have to, like, you know, suspend you or ban you or something. Tell other people in the chat to shut up, man. Keep it cool. You know the the rules you agreed to when you joined chat in the first place. I've been pretty patient this far, but just want to have a chill time. Okay, let's do... Oof, we could do an 8 to 4 right here, but it's already kind of cramped. Let's see. 5 to 2... Four. How big is that? It's not terrible. We could fit it right here Or over here and move that iron over But I think I like right here Let's upgrade it move this stuff. I know we just put it in but Well one can go here, one to here. Wait, does that go nowhere? Oh, it had, it needed a splitter here. We'll just, here, pick them all up. Let's make sure we don't, we're not missing something. And put it back down. But yeah, um, I'll have to check out Kinchi on, it's on Steam, right? Pretty sure it's a PC game. So I'll have to check out the, uh, like the Steam store for it. And, uh, and see, it also looked like it was maybe early access, if I remember correctly. And if so, that's cool. I like to check out early access stuff. But I would need to, um, like, you know, see how that's, see how that's going for it. Let's take four of these, two. Four. And by the name Kinchi, like it makes me think of like samurai or like feudal Japan. Does it have that kind of aesthetic at all? Or is that just a, like the name happens to be something like that? Cause it almost looked medieval or couldn't really place the aesthetic. So those are going to feed straight through. And then these are going to come in from over here.
forgot to hold shift. <laughs> oh, we need to get some robo ports over here to cover this. We're encroaching on Doug's cemetery. Only need like one or two more. Yeah, two. Put one here. Yeah, we'll paste some more of these in. Fill this in. Still waiting on a little bit, right? No, they filled in the landfill. We're good. They'll catch this other landfill later. But really, it should just connect pretty soon. Unless there's a segment missing up top. There we go. I did. I clipped it. That was a good. That was a good spook. See stuff like that. I can get behind. That was fun. What are you guys waiting on? Oh, you're just not built. Why are you not built? Or are you? I can't tell. Oh, you don't have a. You are. You were built. You just didn't have a thing here. There you go. What's being destroyed? Yeah, they don't really stand a chance. This is exactly the way that I thought it would be. Almost saturated, but not quite. Four was the perfect number. Let's um, hold shift. Concrete it up. Oh, come on. There we go. Bring it down just a little bit further here. I'll put it in eventually. And then we had one up here. Bring that over to the water. There they go. It's a post-apocalyptic game where society is now in which there's still powered machinery but guns don't exist anymore except though through mods common weapons including include the nadachi and other japanese swords as well as martial arts interesting and those are through mods so it was kenshi without nadachi <laughs> So this will be an interesting supplementary chain of iron ore for our system when the train shipments stall. Though it only comes into these two. Hmm. We could do a overflow chain. Go something like this. Only specifically because we know we have more coming in at the top and it'll share downward. And if we wanted to be specifically careful, we could say output priorities to the right on all these, or to the left rather. So they have to be overflowing a little bit. So they feed through each other here. Oh, then they almost never share. 
because while they're not going at full speed, it's still putting out enough like right here, and that's it. It's all coming out right here. I don't know. It might change once another shipment comes in and fills this up a little bit more. We'll see. Let's actually see what it looks like without One more time. So these get some, but not a lot. I don't think it really changes much. Swords and martial arts are all in the base game. The Nadachi and other common Japanese swords are all in the base game as well as martial arts. Ah, I gotcha. Oh, so now I understand the wording of what you're saying. Uh, there's still power machinery, but guns don't exist except through mods. So guns exist through mods. Gotcha. I'm following now. That's me being slow. <laughs> slow to catch up. All right, I hope to see this catch up. Okay, there we go. So it still had a trickle though, which is better than nothing. All of this is... Only on one side, until it gets down here. This is still fine, but it's catching up. So it's going to show up on this side. Yep, by way of what's making it down here. See that? And up here too. Hmm. Well, production's increased again, so it's all about waves of stuff coming in and out. Now that I've built this, I kind of wish that I had brought it all the way back here and added it in back here so it just got equally filtered through because these can only go so fast. I don't know that, man. Mm. It wouldn't be too hard to fix. It really wouldn't. This would be difficult, but coming from over here wouldn't. You know what, let's build it out first. And then we can move stuff around. So if it was over here instead... Come from over here. Gonna go get TV or something. <laughs> I'll see ya. Keep Arthur healthy. Okay. And then if we brought it down, we'd want to bring it. Oof, this is in the way. We could maybe do. here and then add into this but this can be the eight to four that we used over here which is this and that can happen right here can move this this still reach it does perfect Do 
take them away. Thank you. Alright, that might be enough room. Hope so. And this will continue over like that. Okay, you guys can continue through. This needs to come down, bump right here and around, and that's what's going to cause an issue once we get to that last one, but we'll see what we need to do. Oh, we can go under. There we go. So then this... Let's come from there. Building snakes together. Do we have enough room here? We do, barely. It is 11.25 central. So I'm probably going to wrap up here in the next few minutes. Try to turn in a little bit early tonight. I do have a busy day tomorrow, doctor's appointment, that kind of stuff. Errands. <laughs> yeah, let's, um, let's angle this up then. Over. Do need them to bring me some more of these, but actually we'll get some back. Go ahead and take these back. I'm gonna let that filter through. Expected. Guess I could have cut this off. And that'll speed it up. Nope, nope, don't take out the pipes. to track down why our blue science isn't being produced anymore. So, we can put this right back where it was before. Okay, I'll take these out too. So then this is filing through here, kind of slowing this side down. But there is an eight to eight that doesn't have that little elbow we were talking about earlier. This one, or this longer one, which is probably more even. We don't really have room for the longer one, I don't think. Oh, yeah, we, we actually do. Sure. We'll try it. How long is it? We'll put it... We'll line it up with this. Okay. 
that's always super satisfying when they come in a wave. Ghost hands. <laughs> All right, let's just get this bit finished up here and then we'll probably wrap for the night. Do want to thank Sinless Moon for the raid earlier. Thank you everybody for hanging out. We'll probably do a raid as well. Pay it forward, right? Take a look and see who else is on playing Factorio right now. First playthrough, Lady Atara. So we'll go ahead and wrap, and then uh, if you stick around, I will raid Lady Atara. Make sure to tell her hello from Offhand Games. And I'll be back on Wednesday with a little bit more of the uh, of Rachel Foster. And then we'll be back next Sunday, and we'll see if we play two games again. But Slick Sax, thanks for hanging out. Thanks for the follow earlier. And uh, it's always always awesome to get more get more followers, get more people in the chat. And um, you know, we're gonna think about some things that we could do to maybe keep a conversation going and stuff like that. Because uh, you know, it doesn't have to be just oh, this is what I'm doing next, and now I'm putting this here. Like you know, I'd like to have more interesting conversations about games coming out, and uh, you know, how people what people think about certain games and genres and stuff. So, so yeah, we'll work on that. But as always, I'll see you next time. Have a good night.